in this lesson, we are going to take a metal. So we're going to take a certain metal and we're going to take a certain non-metal. So here's an example. Uh, let's say we take Na and we take O. And what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to write the chemical formula and we're also going to learn how to work out the name. Okay, we're not going to look at any of these elements over here. You can see I've blocked them out. They are called the transition metals. We will look at that in some future lessons, okay? Um, so you need to understand that everything on the left-hand side of the staircase is called metals. And then everything on the right is, um, everything to the right is non-metals. Just keep in mind though, that hydrogen is in the wrong place. Well, not, it's not in the wrong place, like that is where it goes, but just remember that it's not a metal, it's also a non-metal. Okay, so everything on the right, non-metals, everything on the left, metals. So, to get the chemical formula, what you're gonna do is, step one, you're gonna go find them on the periodic table. So here is Na, and here is oxygen. The next step is to get the valency. Now, what is valency? Well, valency is, just remember the following, one, two, three, four, minus three, minus two, minus one. Those are valencies, okay? So Na is gonna have a valency of plus one, you see there, and O is minus two. So we're just gonna put a little minus two on top of it. Okay, then I want you to just um, put them next to each other. So Na and O, and this one's a plus one, and this one's a plus, I mean a negative two. I now want you to take this number and give it to this one, and then take this number, don't worry about the negative, and give it to this one. So it's gonna be Na2O1. But when there's a one, you can just ignore it, and so there we have it. That is called the chemical formula. So that is our chemical formula. Okay, now we're gonna learn how to name it. So step one, write down the name of the metal. So the name of the metal is the Na, so that's sodium. You need to know that, that is sodium, okay? Step two, write down the non-metal name, so that is oxygen, so just say oxygen. Step three, change the non-metal to IDE name. Now what is IDE name? Well, you know we've got all of these non-metals, right? Such as chlorine. Instead of saying chlorine, when you write it as a chemical name, you would rather say chloride. Instead of oxygen, you would rather say oxide. Instead of fluorine, for example, you would say fluoride. Those are the IDE names. So instead of saying oxygen, you're rather going to make it sodium oxide. Okay, so that is when you have, that is how you do it when you have a metal and a non-metal. So now we're going to do a whole lot of examples. Okay, so let's get to our next one. In our next example, we're going to use Al and we're going to use, um, let's use, let's use, let's use O again. So the first step is to go and find them on the periodic table. And so Al is over here and O is over here. Step two, get the valency. One, two, three, four. Then you go minus three, minus two, minus one. So Al is there, so you can just say three or plus three. And then O is minus two, so you can put that over there. Put them next to each other now and then this is plus three and this is minus two, then switch the numbers like that. So it'll become Al2O3, there we go. Step four, I'm ignoring that for now because we haven't got an example yet where you can simplify them, but I will do that, we will do an example like that in this lesson. Okay, to get the name, step one, write down the metal's name, so this is aluminium, so you're gonna say aluminium. Step two, write down the non-metal, so that's oxygen. Step three, change the non-metal to IDE. So it's gonna be aluminium oxide. And that is the name. Pretty easy, hey guys, let's do another example. Let's do magnesium and S, or S, MG and S, okay? So step one, go find them on the periodic table. So that would be MG, and then S is over there. Step two, get the valency. Okay, so remember this is one, two, three, four, and then minus three, minus two, minus one. So Mg is going to be a positive two, and S is gonna be a negative two. Put them next to each other now. So plus two, minus two. Then cross the numbers. So that become Mg two, 
S2. But now look at this, guys. This can simplify because what is the simplified version of 2 to the 2? Well, that's 1 to 1. So you could say mg1 s1. But then we said whenever there's a 1 and a 1, you just leave that out. It's just, just going to be mg s. Now, how, and, and notice that this is all together as one thing. It's not mg and then s. It's together. To work out the name, well, you write down the name of the metal. So that's magnesium. You need to know these, okay? Then you write down the name of the non-metal, that's sulfur. Now, some people spell sulfur like that. Some people spell sulfur like that. I'm going to use the pH one, okay? pH, sulfur. Now, change the non-metal to the IDE name. So instead of saying magnesium sulfur, you're going to say magnesium sulfide. Sulfide. Now, some of you might be wondering, um, Kevin, my teacher sometimes uses sulfate and sulfite. That's something totally different, guys. That's when we start looking at SO4, SO3. We're not doing that in this lesson. Our next example is going to be Na, and let's use P. Okay, so if you look at, go find them on the periodic table first. So here's Na. Here is uh, P. Now get the valencies, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. So Na is 1, P is negative 3. Put them next to each other and then cross the numbers. So that one goes there, that one goes there. So it'll become Na3, P1. But remember, you don't have to put the 1, so you just say Na3, P. Okay, that's the chemical formula. Now, to get the name, you're going to write down the name of the metal, which is sodium. Then you're going to write down the name of the nonmetal, which is phosphorus. You need to learn these. Okay, then change the uh, nonmetal, which is this one, to the IDE name. So it's going to become sodium and then phosphide. Okay, you're not going to say phosphate, phosphite, nothing with a T. That only comes... Uh, when we start doing other types of questions where we start adding in um, polyatomic ions, okay? And that's not what we're doing in this lesson. Our last example for this lesson is going to be Mg and N. So go find them on the periodic table. So Mg is here, N is here. Now uh, get the valency, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. So Mg is a 2. N is negative 3. Put them next to each other now. So plus 2, minus 3. Put them next to each other, sorry, like that. And then cross the numbers. So that would go there, that would go there. So it'll become Mg3, N2. Okay, now we're going to look at the uh, name. So, and, oh, and I didn't simplify the ratios because 3 and 2 is already simplified. Now to work out the name, you're going to take the non, I mean the metal first, which is magnesium. And then we're going to take the non-metal, which is nitrogen. And then you're going to change the non-metal to its IDE name, so it's nitride. So it's going to be magnesium nitride. Not nitrate, not nitrite, nothing like that, just nitride. 